You want to replace the battery of your Motorola Moto G10? In this video we show you how. Replacing the battery of the Moto G10 is moderately difficult. Since it is glued over a large surface, you will need some patience to remove it. Allow about 60 to 90 minutes for the repair. For this repair you will need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful as well. You can find an original replacement battery for your Motorola Moto G10 and the appropriate tools for this repair in our online store at adoc.eu. First, switch off your Motorola Moto G10 to avoid a potential short circuit during the repair. To do so, press and hold the power button until the power menu appears on the screen. Tap on Power Off. Your smartphone will now shut down within a few seconds. Next, remove the SIM tray by pressing into the small opening next to the SIM tray with the pointed tool. Pull it completely out of the device frame and set it aside. The Moto G10 is opened via the back cover. It is made of plastic and hooked into the screen unit. Note that the specified IP certification expires after opening your phone. To open your phone, carefully slide a flat, sturdy plastic tool, such as a pick or the eye plastics, between the back cover and the case frame. Run the tool around the back cover so that you can hear and feel the hooks loosen. The back cover is slightly glued around the fingerprint sensor and the camera module. Therefore, heat it additionally in these areas with a hot air device, such as a hairdryer. When removing the back cover, press the camera module and the sensor down, so that you don't accidentally tear them off. Once the back cover is detached, the next step is to remove the plastic cover over the motherboard. First, pull off all protective film strips from the frame. Then, in the next step, unscrew the 9 Phillips screws from the cover. To avoid losing the screws, we recommend using a screw storage, such as a magnetic pad. You can find the link in the info box. Carefully lever the loosened plastic cover upwards with a spatter and take it out of the device. The fingerprint sensor lies loosely on top of the plastic cover. To avoid damaging it when removing the cover, you should hold it aside. Now disconnect the battery. To avoid a short circuit during the repair, you should always disconnect the battery as soon as possible. To do so, carefully lever it off the motherboard with a spatter. Disconnect the fingerprint sensor in the same way and take it out of the device. Now you can remove the battery. It is glued over a large area. To loosen it more easily, you should heat it with hot air from the screen side beforehand. Pull the battery upwards with a suction cup and try to carefully lever it out of its guide with a battery spatter. Once the battery is lifted up a bit, slide the flat eye plastics under and use it to separate the battery step by step from the screen's inside. Work your way forward with a cutting motion. You can find an original replacement battery for your Motorola Moto G10 and the appropriate tools for this repair in our online store at adoc.eu. The replacement battery of the Moto G10 does not have any adhesive strips integrated on the back. However, the remaining adhesive on the bottom of the screen unit is usually sufficient to securely attach the battery again. Otherwise, we can recommend our universal adhesive strips for attaching the battery. We link them to you in the info box. Insert the replacement battery into the screen unit and press it firmly into place. Position the fingerprint sensor and connect it to the motherboard. Be especially careful when attaching connectors and never press them down with force. A damaged connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. After that, you can also connect the battery. 
always connect the battery last to avoid a potential short circuit. Once both components are connected, you can put the plastic cover back over the motherboard and press it down. At the same time, hold the fingerprint sensor to the side to avoid pinching it. If the cover sits level, press the sensor on it. Finally fix the board cover with 9 Phillips screws. Before you close your smartphone again, we recommend testing the replacement battery at this point. To do so, connect your Moto G10 to a charging cable. You should also check the function of the fingerprint sensor after the repair. With the help of our checklist, you can test other basic functions too. We've linked it in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. At the end of the repair, you have to reattach the back cover. Align it over the screen unit and press it firmly along the frame so that you can hear and feel it click into place. It has to sit evenly everywhere. To ensure that the glue around the camera and sensor bonds properly, you should briefly heat the edge with hot air. The last step is to insert the SIM tray. Make sure that you insert it the right way. You made it! The battery of your Moto G10 is now replaced. I hope your Motorola Moto G10 is now back to full battery power. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our store. iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Discover more repair guides and other helpful videos on our channel.